everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. So today I'm going to be doing a how to use poly gel. So I actually recently bought a kit. It's right here. Oh, here it is. It comes with a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah. It also came with glitter and stuff. This isn't really a review, it's more like a how to. But I'm just gonna be using that kit. Do I recommend it? Yes. So, you're gonna buy it, start by removing any existing nail polish on your nails. So, I'm gonna do that right quick. Okay, so I got that removed. Then, we're gonna take a 180 nail file, and you're just gonna very, very lightly kind of just buff up your nails and just remove the shine and the oils. Very, very lightly. Barely even touching it. So, do that real quick. How I do is I just go like this. As you can see, it's not a very heavy noise. It's very, very light because I'm barely, I'm not even pressing it on. I'm just kind of gliding it across, you know what I'm saying? 180, nothing more abrasive than a 180. 180 is the highest you want to go. Okay, so I kind of forgot to mention that you want to push back your cuticles, but you want to be careful doing this and scrape up any dead skin. Be careful when you do this, please. And then you want to buff. Alright. And after you're done doing that, you're going to dehydrate and prime. You can use whatever primer you want. I'm going to be using the Beauty Secret Primer and Dehydrator. The dehydrator, you can apply just basically like that. Basically, just everywhere. It's fine if you get on the skin. You just want to saturate everywhere. This is going to dehydrate the nail, take all the oils away. Ugh. Then, with the primer, you don't want to get this on the skin, even if it's acid free. Because if you have any cuts or burn, no, any cuts or nicks or anything, it will burn. So when you're doing this on your client or yourself, oh yeah, also you don't need a lot of this. Like, at all. You don't need a lot. Sorry about that. I'm like super low on this because I spilt it months ago this is basically just gonna make like a sticky layer kind of for the stuff poly gel to here too <sighs> by the way my the kit I used it didn't come with any primer or anything after that step you're gonna be put a base coat on you and do not switch it up with a top coat because I've done that a couple times and it's so frustrating. You want to do super thin, just like. I mean, you don't want to add a lot. Just a super thin layer. Make sure you get everywhere in your nail. Try not to get on your skin. If you do, wipe it up. And I'm only going to be showing y'all one hand. I don't want to drag y'all through your both hands because there's no purpose for that. Cure down your nail lamp for 30 seconds. If you're wondering where I got my nail lamp from, I got it from another kit. It was like a gel polish kit. It was a sensational one. I'll show you right here. That's what it looks like. It's just a cute little mini one, but it works. And I've had it for a while too, since like September. It was like $25, the whole kit. It came with a gel polish. Basically just what you need to get started with gel. But it didn't come with the base coat, which is kind of weird. Okay. After your base coat, you're gonna size up your dual forms. You can also use forms or tips. I mean dual forms, because that's what the kit came with and I enjoy using these. I use a six for my index finger. My ring finger 
Then I use a five for my middle finger, and you can reuse these about up to three times. And then a pinky, I think I use a nine. And then my thumb, I use a one. Okay. Let me find a nine. Okay, so this is a nine. I'm not fixing my pinky thumb. Oh. I have four lined up. Four because I this fits this in this. And for slip, I'm using 50% alcohol. Some people say use like at least 70. 50 is all I could find in the pitch, and it didn't come with the kit. So, and then I'm using my brush and scooper tool to pick up the polish. And I'm using natural pink and to pick up the polish all. You want to dip your um, scooper thing into your, and I have this handy little thing, but I just kind of dip it in there. Take the poly gel, squeeze it. Wet your brush with the slip solution. Not too, too much, just enough to make sure it doesn't stick. With the 50% alcohol, I kind of find myself going back in with more slip solution, but it's better than nothing. This poly gel is kind of stiff. And then you just want to pat. You don't really want to brush it, but you kind of want to pat. And now I'm gonna do like a coffin nail. I'm gonna shape it up later though. But this looks kind of thin, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more poly gel. That's kind of a lot. I always keep a paper towel beside me so I can push off the excess. Okay. And then you take it and you just pop it on your nail. Okay. Making sure it's smooth everywhere. Don't push too hard, but push enough pressure to let your bubbles come out. Okay. And if there's any of any, any unevenness, smooth it on. And then you want to cure for one minute in your nail lamp. Let me show you. Okay. Sometimes dual forms don't really fit my nails perfectly. I want to make sure it's pushed out of the way. Because sometimes near the very tip, it doesn't really get in there. So make sure it's pushed out of the way. And then cure for one minute, 30 seconds like this, and then flip your hand like this and cure so it gets everywhere. When you take it out, you can wiggle this, and this is my favorite part. Ready? And it's a perfectly formed nail, just the way you like it. So, and then you can do this for the rest of your fingers. Okay, guys. So I I made it way too thin, and so I just went back and had more polish gel without carrying it, so I can show you. I made a mistake of putting the apex here and not here. You want the apex to be here, not here. So we're gonna push the apex up here. Okay. Okay, that's better. A little tip for you, if you, it looks super thin on here, but it's really not. But a little tip for you, so you, if you use too much slip solution, then you won't cure properly. So, cure that. And this is for the next finger. And I like to put it more where the apex is going to be, like right there. 
and then again, I just kind of smooth it up like so. All right, y'all, so this is the final product, and you can add your cuticle oil of choice, but that's about it. So thanks for so much for watching this video, and see you guys next time.